Do you know that the American Life magazine acknowledges three symbols for Italian post-war economic boom? The first one is something we all love. Sophia Loren. The second one is something we all eat daily, more or less, or at least the Italian ones. And the third one is something we all dream of. All right, maybe the youngest person would not recognize this uh, beautiful design version of this one. Well, we are there. What's this? A Ferrari, of course, a Ferrari. So, what comes in, my, in our mind when we talk about Ferrari? So, first of all, out and out uh, racing cars who are winning every world championship ever, hopefully. Then we can also think of uh, mostly red design uh, cars that are so fast like racing cars. But I'm sure that as you are dealing with research, when you think about Ferrari, you also think of a Ferrari research laboratory, where they study about optimization of fuels, aerodynamics, or the best uh, cutting-edge materials for the development in the car industry. But well, as I am a storyteller and a personal storyteller, I'm also interested in who's behind Ferrari. Enzo. Enzo is quite a mysterious man, isn't it? With hiding uh, behind uh, black glasses. So, how would you define him? What's your idea of him? You have been to the Ferrari Museum, or some of you have been to the Ferrari Museum last year in Modena or Maranello, right? So, is he uh, a designer? Or is he the engineer? He was he, of course, sorry. <laughs> uh, was he, for example, the research promoter? Would you like to know how he used to describe himself? He said, I'm not a designer. Other people do that. I'm an agitator of men. <laughs> so, of course, he had the makings of the number one. He had a real sense of competition when journalists used to ask him, oh, what's the best Ferrari victory? He used to answer, oh, the one which has yet to be won. So, real sense of competition. But at the same time, he also knows how important uh, teamwork uh, is. But he knows that inside uh, a stable, teamwork is a little bit difficult because there is a conflict between the interest of the team and the interest of the single pilot. For example, Enzo Ferrari started himself as a pilot with Mille Miglia, Targa Florio and other races which are very physically difficult. And he admitted that uh, his biggest ambition was not to win against competitors, but to win against his own teammates. And so, is it competition, or is it solidarity behaviors? Can they be expected in a team where the pilots are burnt by the desire to win? What do you think? Ferrari wrote his autobiography. Of course, lots, tons of ghost writers has written autobiographies about Enzo, but he he wanted to write his own autobiography. He wanted to give his version. I read this book, and what really struck my attention is that he mentioned a lot of people. And for any one of them, he could mention, I would say, at least three good qualities. Take uh, the legend of the legends, Tazio Nuvolari. Ferrari wrote he was so brave that he could push the human limits forward, eliminating fear, but still being able to calculate the risks. Or take uh, Manuel Fangio, for example. He said, a person with uh, superior intelligence, great vision, 
great balance, self-confidence. But the person, the pilot, he was most affectionate to was Peter Collins. And he recalls an anecdote, 1956, World Championship was getting very advantageous for the victory of Peter Collins. And so Ferrari told him, what do you think? How are things uh, going? And Peter Collins answered, Mr. Ferrari, I'm a 25-year-old guy. I'm too young to take such a big responsibility. Manuel Fangio, he, he should win, and I am ready to give him my car if it is necessary. And this is what, of course, Mr. Ferrari so much appreciated, this solidarity. This is young uh, Peter Collins with uh, Ferrari. But, of course, not every story is so romantic. You can imagine it. And there are even less romantic things, like, for example, Niki Lauda wrote a very bitter uh, autobiography full of complaints and accuses against uh, Mr. Ferrari. When, when something like this happens, you know, it's the showbiz. Hmm? But still, I would really... Uh, so, why did uh, Ferrari wrote his autobiography? Maybe to fuel the argument... No, he really did it for this reason, to make also his forgiveness public. So think about it. Also, forgiveness could be a part, a key part of success.